In this video, we'll have a quick look at interfaces in Dart. So I'm going to create a new file there, and I'm going to call this file retail underscore item dot dot. Right, so I'm going to create a class in here that will be an abstract class. And I'm going to call it class retail item. Now in this class, I'm just going to create a getter and a setter. So it will look something like this, double get price, end it off. And I'm going to say, let's do the setter, set price. And I'm going to accept a double price. Right, so what just happened in this class? I've declared this class as an abstract class which means you cannot create objects of this class. Now I've also declared the getter for a price variable as abstract, and I've declared the setter also as abstract. So the setter and the getter is both called price. So these are the two methods inside of the retail item that I declared as abstract. So that's all I'm going to have in this class. Now let's create another class and I'm going to call this one labeled dot dot. Now if I go to labeled, I'm going to have an abstract class again. Let's call it or abstract class labeled. And now I'm going to have something similar. But this time I'm going to have double get label. And here I'm going to have set label and having sent through a label value. And again, just as retail item, I'm just having abstract methods for the getter for price and the setter for price. For labeled, exactly the same thing. I've got an abstract label getter method and an abstract label setter method. So you can see there's no bodies. There's no fat arrows, so no body has been given there. So these are abstract. Now I can create a class that uses these. So let's create the class called compact disk dot dot. Now let's create the class here. I'm just going to say class compact disk. Now this compact disk class, I'm going to say instead of extends, I'm going to use the implements keyword. And that indicates that I'm using an interface now. Now, if I use extends, it means that I must inherit from a specific class. And you cannot extend more than one class. So if I say extends here and I say retail item, but I cannot add a comma there and for instance also use the labeled class as an extend. So in the labeled class, you can see it's called labeled there. So I'm going to say labeled. And you can see there, if I hover over it, each class definition can have at most one extends clause, which means I cannot inherit from two different classes. But with the implements keyword, I can have retail item and I can also have labeled. Uh, let's just say compact disk there. So now I'm implementing both retail item and labeled. So what is an interface in this specific case now? Even though retail item is declared as abstract and labeled is declared as abstract in other programming languages, in order to create an interface, we would declare it as interface and then just have the interface name. So in Dart, there's no interface keyword, which means that you need to declare your class or your interface as abstract. And then what is an interface? It's an abstract class that will have all abstract methods, which means you must implement every single method inside of an interface. So if I say implements, I'm treating labeled as well as retail item, both classes there, I'm treating them as interfaces, which means that all of the methods listed in retail item and all of the methods listed in labeled must be part of compact disk. Right, so let's look at this quickly. So it means that I must have values that I'm going to return the label for, and I must also return a price. Return and set. So in this case, obviously, we'll need to have a price and we'll also need to have a label. So it's basically forcing me to have those two variables. Now I can have a constructor here also. So let's say compact disk. Let's have a named argument list there. So we're going to have required uh, double price. And we're going to have required 
double, no, not double. Uh, let's just go back to labeled. This one should be string as the label, and that one should also be string. Right, let's go back. Okay, so this label there should be of type string, and this one should then also be of type string, and I'm going to say label there. Now to initialize it, just go to a new line. To initialize this now, we will say underscore price should be the price that was passed in. And we'll also say underscore label should be the label that was passed in. Right. So now everything seems fine. We've got a price and a label and we've got the constructor. Now what we need to do is to look at what this error says now. It says missing a concrete implementation of the getter label the getter price, the setter label, and the setter price. So I need to have all those getter and setters met setter methods. So I can use the control dot or the command dot to help me, but it's not really very helpful. So let's try and set these quickly on our own. So I'm going to use for the label, let's start with the label, I'll need to use these two. So I'm going to copy it and I will use them here for the label. I'm going to say string get label and let's give it the fat arrow there and we will return the label. Now the same for the setter. We're also going to add at override because we are overriding it. Set the label and there we will say our label should be set to the label that was passed in. So it's just a normal setter and a getter. Now it's still not very happy. So let's just do the other one as well. I'm going to copy these two. Paste it there. And Let's say double get price and I'm going to return the underscore price. And there I'm going to say price also with a double price that I'm going to have in there. And I'm going to set my price to the price. And now you can see the compact disk for compact disk, the compiler is now happy because we have overwritten the label setter and getter and the price setter and getter. So by saying implements retail item and labeled, I'm essentially saying all of the methods specified inside of retail item and all of the methods specified inside of label must be overridden in my class called compact disk. So what is the difference between implements and extends, extends means I'm inheriting all the fields, the public fields and methods of the other class. And if I want to, I can override them. Whereas the implements method says that every single method inside of these classes that I specify, I have to override. I do not have a choice and it will give me an error until I have overridden those methods. And you're also not really extending or inheriting from them. You are just using their methods. So even if I go there and I go to the set label and I would just say something like print hello there. That's even allowed. Whereas in some languages like Java, this is not allowed because of the type of interface. You cannot have a body inside of your methods in an interface. But in an abstract class, that's that's allowed. But even if I have an implementation for this set label method, if I remove this set label method there you will see it's going to give me an error so what is an interface for an interface if you implement an interface you must supply all of the methods that is listed in that interface and you have to create or override all of those methods thank you for watching this video see you in the next one